Neighbors and fellow citizens, I want to take a few moments to provide some additional updates from the community on what has taken place this past week and what is uh, approaching in the very near future. As you know, many of our restaurants have reopened and the uh, ability for them to be successful will depend a great deal on the confidence that the public has that they are following the uh, guidelines uh, of, the, of the governor in terms of, um, of um, sanitation and other crucial matters. In light of that, the State College Borough Health Officer has issued a FAQ document on COVID-19 food safety measures. If you manage and work at food establishments, please keep a copy of this handy. It's available on our COVID-19 webpage at www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. And I urge also the public to, uh, to check on that to find out what is required of restaurants uh, to open. Other uh, news of reopenings. Local playgrounds are open uh, on uh, Monday, June 8th, or were opened on Monday, June 8th. Staff are finishing removing the closed signs today. Please be patient as we are working with reduced staff and there are 44 playgrounds to get to. These structures are not routinely sanitized and are used at your own risk. Please encourage children to practice good hygiene, including washing hands after use of play structures. If a playground is crowded, please consider visiting a different park to reduce exposure and potential spread of the coronavirus. Thank you for your patience on during this time and enjoy the parks. Penn State has uh, uh, launched a new section of its virus information website dedicated to keeping Penn State students, faculty, and staff informed of the latest plans for an eventual return to classes and work on campus. Community members can visit the Back to State page for the latest information as university leaders continue to plan for a phased return to in-person activities when warranted. You may view this site at www.virusinfo.psu.edu backslash back to state. Now the university will announce its final decision on what, how the reopening is going to take place on Monday. Uh, I know many citizens are anxious about the university's plans because of the impact that the return of thousands of students to our community uh, while COVID-19, uh, the COVID-19 pandemic continues, um, is, is troubling. Uh, I want to assure you that the borough will do everything in its power in cooperation with the university to see that the transition is as safe as possible. Another news of uh, relating to the, uh, to the pandemic. Governor Tom Wolf announced a $225 million statewide grant program to support small businesses that were impacted by the COVID-19 public health crisis and subsequent business closure order. And the governor has also announced guidance to resume high school and other summer sports. If you're interested in learning more about these announcements, visit www.governor.pa Gov. Again, to report a COVID-19 related safety concern, as in, as in the past, please contact our police via the non-emergency number, 814-234-7150. That's 814-234-7150. Please do not call 911. And again, for all local updates, please continue to visit our website, www.statecollegepa.us backslash coronavirus. Finally, uh, as I mentioned last week, uh, I and other members of the borough administration, borough council, chief of police, borough manager, and many others have received many, many emails from concerned citizens uh, about the <coughs> policing procedures in State College in the aftermath of the murder of George Floyd. It's practically impossible to respond individually to all of these requests and I, uh, 
I understand the concern that the, that the public has. But I can assure you that we will be issuing public statements in the near future that will respond to the concerns most of you have raised. Thank you for your concern. Please stay safe.